Hi, so today I'm going to be showing you the process of making this postcard here. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist in The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now, and I'm here to empower you. So I'll really quickly in this video show you a sped up version of how I went over this. I inked it and then I watercolored it. And I'll show you what I was thinking and why I chose uh, the colors that I did and the de decisions that I made when I did this uh, postcard. So uh, let's get started. All right. So as I tend to do, I started with a pre-drawn uh, drawing. It actually took me quite a quite a bit of time to to do this drawing. So uh, um, there was a lot of play. What I was gonna do and how I was gonna do it, and 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 some of uh, some of my decisions here at the at the inking stage. Uh, went a little bit out of control and I had to make adjustments based on the drawing because I, I, I didn't prepare well enough. But once I have the drawing that I wanted to do, I then decided to ink it with my crow quill and a brown pencil. So I'm, I'm essentially going, continuing what I did last month, which was doing this uh, just kind of a brown uh, painting. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a, a, almost like an ink drawing but uh and i and and it's again the vampire hunter uh character with the white hair that i that i did last time just just kind of like the idea of this character so i may i may keep doing it uh, a little bit more a few more times maybe i don't know uh, that's not a guarantee i may feel completely different uh next month but um so here I am adding all the the line quality and then I come in with the brown watercolor so uh, the plan is to to do the the brown watercolor and to do a, a little bit of blue on there just to darken it just a little bit but otherwise just kind of keep the the brown look to to the um, to the paint now one of the problems uh, that I was having while I was doing this was that I needed to really refresh the watercolor that I had on my little palette and uh, I was there was there was hardly any paint so it, it was kind of hard to even get the brown on my brush uh, so I have to really replenish both my 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 blues and my browns because it <laughs> I was barely getting any paint on the on the brush but I just kept on going I just didn't feel like stopping I wanted to get it done uh, as you can see uh, earlier uh, I did kind of uh, I, I over uh, wet my brush and right when I was putting the brush on my nose and and, uh, and it messed things up and here I, I did add a line. So this is where I was talking about where it wasn't completely prepared. I ended up, I ended up going back in and inking an extra section just because I I I, I did the I made the decision with the watercolor, and then went in and just added the line work because um, I'm like oh well uh, I don't want any lines like that was the idea. The idea was that there is no lines. It's just uh, shadow patterns. That that was that was the that was the the thing. And I realized that I had line work on on the hair uh, when it connected to like the the armor that she's wearing, and I didn't want to have uh, a line there. I wanted it to just be a shadow shape. So I said, okay, well maybe the shadow of the hair will be the shadow there. And then, um, and here I am adding the the dark blue to just really make things pop. Right, and 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 this is this is this was this was a little bit more fun. And at this point, I pretty much had had the whole the whole thing kind of figured out. And I didn't want to put uh, the the blue on everything, just at the bottom, like like it just as it gets darker as it goes down. That was the idea, as the as it, as it as it goes. And I uh, well, and also I did a little bit on the on the eyes, just because I wanted the eyes to be a little bit uh, darker. But then I went back in with a little bit of brown again. Like I said, um, uh, bare, very little brown pigment paint on, on, on the palette. Uh, and so um, I ended up having to, to just kind of add a little bit more brown on there. Um, so here's the blue. And, um, and oh, oh, right. And then here I am just getting rid of all the 
pencil line. And it was a lot of pencil line. It was really, really red. I wanted to get rid of all of that. But um, this is it. That's basically it. That was a whole process. Um, it, it really wasn't um, uh, too complicated. But um, uh, all right. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you next time. All right. Bye. So I'm happy to announce that I now have a new drawing lesson called Drafu Guide to Sketching and Gesture Foundations. It's the beginning of the level two information that people have been asking me for for the drawing website, which will teach you where to start drawing, what to draw, what to draw when you draw, how to draw from observation, how to draw from imagination, how to draw what you envision, and how to discover what you ought to envision if you don't have anything specific in mind. So if you find any of this interesting, you could follow the link that you see, or you can go to thedrawingwebsite.com, look under level two, and you'll find the link there.